the given chart shows the specimen of xeric adaptation that is camel it has a large nostril that can open and close limbs are long and with padded foot thick leathery patch on skin fat stored in hump survive for the long period without water the given chart shows the specimen of xeric adaptation that is open sea commonly called as cactus stems are modified into flattened green like photosynthetic in characteristics leaves are modified into spines they reduce the water loss stem is a thick store maximum water and carried out the photosynthesis process water loss is completely absent due to absence of leaves in open sea plant what happens that complete plant body is not a leaf that is the stem part here stem is a thick fleshy in characteristics that that gives strength to the open sea can survive without water even higher temperature condition that is in the desert area the given chart shows the specimen of xeric adaptation that is a bryophyllum bryophyllum it has the specialized modifications leaf is modified into thick leathery and fleshy leaf store maximum water leaf margin produce buds which develops roots called epiphyllous buds later they forms the daughter plant body it has a sun cane stomata at lower epidermis which prevents the loss of water the next f specimen is the given chart shows the specimen of hydric adaptation that is icornia their character is it is a free floating hydrophytes roots arise from nodes involved in vegetative propagation uh, leaves have a waxy cuticular coat which prevent the wetting and stem produce offset which grow new plant vegetatively the icornia plant it is also called as terror of bengal because of their vigorous growth on the water top level because it drain up the oxygen from water that leads into the fish mortality and other aquatic organisms hence it is called as terror of bengal because of their vegetative propagation it grow rapidly the given chart shows the specimen of hydric adaptation called nilumbo which is indian lotus flower it is a floating rooted plant called hydrophyte leaves floating on the water surface leaves have long petiole and broad lamina leaves contain spongy parenchyma with air cavities called erenchyma long slender flexible spongy petiole contain air cavities which mainly helps the plant to easily float on the water surface the leaf of this plant is a broad and that is called as a lamina which mainly holds the water current and that prevents the lotus plant for the buoyancy the given live specimen shows hydric adaptation which is called hydrilla stem is soft and slender bear small leaves xylem is poorly developed which resist water consumption because this plant completely uh, grow inside the water only whole plant is covered with the mucilage to prevent a rotting effect it is a free floating plant show vegetative propagation so in this plant the roots are may be absent or may be present with minute hair like structures called a rhizoids which mainly supports the plant growth the given specimen is hydric adaptation which is fish the characteristics are the body is streamlined it has a pair of fins help in swimming body covered by a mucus coat which prevents the wetting of body air bladder present which help to float in water it has operculum which surrounds the gills mainly helps for their respiration process these characters makes fish to live inside the water that is the adaptive characteristics of fish the given specimen shows hydric adaptation that is frog frog skin is a sl slimy and moist it has a webbed feet for swimming fore limbs have five digit and hind limbs have four digit eyeball protected by nictitating membrane 
respiration carry through lungs and even also the skin frog it is mainly depend on water for their reproduction process because to lay their eggs when frogs on land they respire through their lungs when frog inside the water respire through their moist skin the last given specimen shows hydric adaptation that is prawn it also has streamlined body pleopods well developed for swimming tail is enlarged help to balance the body body covered with chitinous exoskeleton prevents entry of water into body antenna act like a sensory organ these characters makes prawn to live inside the water and even prawn also have the compound eyes that you have to seen in these specimens and they, at the below they have the leg like structures those are not a legs which is called as an pleopods dear student in your practical examination you have to mention these point while you are identification in examination you have to mention the points which are mainly shows by the specimens dear student if you like the video share comment and like and subscribe the my channel for your uh, best uh, description and even your for the uh, best uh, biological concept thank you i am kamal nayak from bagalkot if you have any doubt any queries you can comment in in comment box and even also you can directly contact with me my phone number is 9880624546 thank you have a nice day and best of luck for your examination